cent at 4.4 cents, 5 billion max supply, 3.3 billion circulating, and 148 million market cap. Uh, it's been on a general uptrend since it came out May 20th. I just want to point out that they have been dumping coins. So they've been putting more coins in the circulation, with me, which means there needs to be more buying power in order to move up compared to the past. You can tell that because the peaks should be the same. If you look at the peaks here and we go to the market cap in the past, they're just gradually, these big peaks, they end up unloading coins on you guys. So the general downtrend or down period, they keep it the same. And then when you have these big blow-offs, they are uh, putting more coins in the circulation. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, they still have a couple billion more to reach max supply um so well, yeah if they put a bunch of coins in the circulation it's gonna be harder to reach these uh, price pr price levels without more uh investors with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on kai <laughs> Welcome to Trading Crypto. Let's get into KAI. It looks like you guys are on life support at the bottom support. Um, working your way back up towards this resistance. You're at the uh, neutral resistance channel right now. I drew a fib earlier on this. We'll drop that in. Looks like we got stopped at the 618 with these hammer candles right here. So that's kind of a bearish sign. Uh, so just keep an eye on the 618 right here at 4.5. You need to get over that to continue up. Worst case scenario is to drop back down to the 786. Hopefully that holds. If not, we'll go down to uh, the 3.9. I guess you can say you've had a consolidation period between the 7.8 or the 1 and the 6.18. This was a general uptrend for a while, but you guys uh, got denied once you got to the 5 right here. Uh, and then you worked your way back down. So this is invalid now. So you guys have to, you guys are starting over and working your way up. But you really got to focus on getting over the 6.18. You get over that, it'll actually act as a really good support for you guys. Guys, The 6.18's at 4.6. It just looks like you guys are having a lot of these really small candles, which means there's not a lot of buying or selling. It's just staying around the same price a little bit. The RSI is over 50. It's not in the overbought. It's not in the oversold. So, um, yeah, it can go either way. I know that people are like, oh, you're just saying that because it'll be true because it can go either way. But honestly, um, you're at the 50, it could go up or down. If you look at the trend, you guys do tend to peak out at the 70 quite a bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys went up a little bit to the 70, which would bring this up to the 382, uh, which would invalid, which would continue this uptrend and invalidate this downtrend that you guys are uh, starting right now. Let's keep it on the 618 at 45. If we don't overtake that or next stops to 786, we get rejected. It kind of looks like we're heading down that way with these small candles. So I think something like this is at play. In which case, if we get rejected right here, our main support's down at 3.9. But this is a really thick support channel. Keep that in mind. So you can see we bounced around in it quite a bit before we decided to move up. So with that, this is not financial advice. If I had to give uh, my two cents, just keep an eye on 4.5. We need to get over the 6.18 in order to uh, consider yourself bullish. This is just a heavy resistance for us right now. Uh, if, you, if you'd like to chart any coins or if you like to chat, please join my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description.